and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I am on a racetrack yet once again. This week was absolutely crazy. Monday and Tuesday, I was uh, in Milano with Lexus Switzerland for the design week. Uh, Wednesday, I was in Monza for the GT World Challenge U Europe. On Thursday, I drove to the Red Bull Ring. Friday and Saturday, I did the Red Bull Ring with the Porsche Sports Cup Swiss. And last night, I drove through the night here to Berlin to be here for the Formula E at the Berlin Tempelhof, as you can see behind me. It used to be one of the active airports of Berlin, and now it's pretty much the perfect space for a Formula E race. Yesterday was already around seven, and today I want to see how racing on this racetrack actually is. So we just spent some safety time in the media center because it was shocking down rain, everything is wet and the qualifying is about to start and this could get very interesting because the ground anyways is not so easy here. Unfortunately, Jeff was not able to get the best lap in against Nico Müller from Cupra in the second round of the uh, duels. So not in the front line on the starting grid. The qualifying is still going, so I will let you know which positions they actually have at the end. But yeah, let's see. It started to rain again. Today is wide open. <laughs> All right, um, I'm back in the media center because as always, this is the place to get some work done and do some uploads. But I think pretty soon we have to go because the autograph session is just about to start. So some more work and then I'm back out. All right, the famous autograph session for the last time this weekend here in Berlin. And as you can see, the weather is really not getting better, but fans are true troopers. No matter the weather, they are here, here and they are getting the autographs from their favorite drivers. time is going by right now it's already grid time I love the grid you all know it Jeff on P4 Stoffel on P9 and I'm so excited to see how it's going let's wish them good luck and see how the race goes
Sean Eric Byrne in the DS Penske. So Byrne leading on lap 8 of 40. Here comes Byrne for the lead of the Berlin E3. Sean Eric Byrne third. Hello. <laughs> Congratulations to P3. That's quite a good result. Although you said in the end in one of the interviews, <laughs> you said in one of the interviews that you were actually happy the race is over. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, it was it, it was a very hectic race. Uh, once again, no one wanting to lead and uh, creating a big chaos behind. So as soon as you reach the fifth or sixth position, you, you're like uh, in the danger zone. So. Uh, you really have to come back quickly, but everybody wants to do the same, but the leader doesn't want to lead, so it, it creates some sort of chaos that is, is not very comfortable racing, let's put it that way. For people who have absolutely no idea what we're talking about, can you elaborate a little bit on this idea of not wanting to lead? Yes, uh, basically this car has a lot of drag, so when you are leading, uh, you basically have all the wind, so you have more resistance, so you're using more energy, and the people behind you has therefore a lot less resistance, less wind, and they consume less energy. So it's exactly the same as in cycling when you see everybody following each other to save their, their own energy. And it's the same um, in today's car because of the drag that we have. Leading a race is, is not a good idea until a certain target of energy when you have to not save too much energy, then it becomes less important because you're less vulnerable. On this point of no one wanting to lead, can, how is that for you as a race driver? I mean, you want to lead, but at the same time you don't want to. Very strange, a strange way of racing, to be honest. It's not very logical or not very normal, let's say. Yeah, you, I mean, the, the first like 25 laps, you can't really call it racing. It's just uh, driving in the train, uh, try to be efficient and uh, try to do a better job than the guys in front. But um, yeah, it's uh, not really the, the, the right DNA, let's say. How do you look on what we have had so far and how do you look to the future? Um, it's been a difficult start of the year. Um, you know, I feel like we've been quite unlucky in, uh, in quite some instances. In some races we haven't 100% um, executed them well. Uh, lacking some pace and uh, yeah, uh, some unfortunate incidents as well. So, uh, you know, definitely should have been better and uh, hopefully we can turn it around for the second part. Thank you very much. We are halfway through the season. How is your take on how the season has been going yeah. so far and uh, how it's going to be for the next half? Yeah, it's been doing um, quite good. Uh, we are definitely in, uh, in contention for you know, fighting for the title. Now we need a, an even better second half of the season. But I'm very happy with the team, with our performance, with the work that, that we've done. Uh, we just need to, to carry on and try and improve a little bit the car. It's going to be a, an exciting second part of the season. What an experience, Formula E in Berlin. I'm not going to get to the point why the race was a little bit interrupted in the beginning, but it was really fun to watch. It was really nice to be here. Jeff made it on the podium on P3 and Stoffel on P8. It's good. We are getting there. Consistency is arriving. And I hope you liked what you saw today and I will see you in one of my next videos. Thanks. Ciao, Tama.